She come home one time and said, women have the greatest pain of it all. We bear children. Now, women cannot say bearing children is the greatest pain of it all until they zip their dick up in their zipper. <laughs> and the worst part about that is you gotta come back down with a fucking zipper. <laughs> and once you zip your dick up in your zipper, you ain't on your own gonna pull that fucker back down. You gotta find a friend with a quaalude and a blindfold. <laughs> that fucking hurt. I'll tell you, and if they don't make you go to the female doctor with them, make you go to the goddamn grocery store. But if you don't go to the grocery store with them, they'll get your ass back. They'll wait till Saturday afternoon, like on Super Bowl Sunday. That's a good day. Super Bowl Sunday, you laying there watching the ball game, having a cold beer, laying there in your underwear and white socks, playing with your dick. <laughs> Ain't it amazing what happens to us men, we get in underwear and white socks, straight to the dick we go, boy. <laughs> be fourth and 25, say, go for it, go for it. <laughs> She'll come in and say some shit like, go to the grocery store and buy me some Tampax. <laughs> now, baby, I cleaned out the garage, washed the car, mowed the grass, swept the driveway, but don't make me go have no fucking Tampax, all right? People think I lost my goddamn mind. <laughs> Hurry up, you son bitch, I need them. Super Deluxe, the big blue box. I drive clear across town, nobody know me. Sneak in the grocery store, sneak up the Tampax section, pick up a box of Tampax, put it underneath my coat, sneak up to the checkout clerk, look around, set it down. What happens? It ain't got no fucking price tag on it. <laughs> What's the broad behind the register do? Goes over the intercom, the fucker in the back. Clarence, can we get a price check on this Tampax, this gentleman up front, please? He thinks he says thumbtacks. He comes back over, you want to kind you push him with your hand or drive in with a hammer. <laughs> you seen them Tampax commercials on TV? We're not number one, but we're right up there. What is that shit anyway? <laughs> and the Kotex commercial said, we ain't the best thing, but we're next to it. They got that and right, them some bitches. I want to tell you something. I got a friend in the audience tonight, and I'm proud to call him a friend, Brother Dave Gardner. Will you stand up, Brother Dave? Put a spotlight on Brother Dave. Yeah! You the best, Brother Dave. I tell you, another one of them commercials that pissed me off. This guy comes in from working, his wife's cooking in front of the stove. He comes in, puts his arms around her waist and goes, mmm, that smells good. Is that you? She says, no, that's Campbell's bean and bacon. Can you imagine what this bitch normally smells like? She must smell like beaver piss or some shit, boy. God damn, that's a welcome change shit. And they got all them uh, commercials, like for McDonald's. I'm pissed off at McDonald's. They fired me there one time, said I didn't have enough acne. <laughs> Ever see them fuckers that work there look like they've been bobbing for french fries or some shit? <laughs> you deserve a break today, so put a sack on your fucking head, you won't give me a break. <laughs> then they go on. You ever go to McDonald's and notice every son bitch behind the counter is a fucking manager? That must be a tough job to get. What's that? Hamburger. What's that? French fry. You are manager. Doop. If you miss one of the questions, you manager trainee. And if you happen to spot an apple pie, you fucking district manager. I'm telling you, damn true, they got all these, and McDonald's finally done it. They come up with something I'm scared to fucking order. Chicken McNuggets. If a part of a chicken's gonna be a fucking nugget, what part you think it's gonna be? I ain't paying a dollar sixty-nine for deep fried chicken nuts, fuck them. And I guess this one, this one pisses me off worse than any of them. Morris, Morris. 
She always goes, at the end of Morris, you finicky pussy cat. You just won't eat nothing but nine lives, will you? <laughs> Bullshit. You don't feed that cocksucker for 10 days. He'll eat a peanut butter and jelly fucking sandwich. Be glad to get that son bitch too. Be looking at you going, got more jelly? This is really delicious. But see, I don't want to insult anybody. I never intend to insult anybody, but I don't want to insult any cat lovers in here tonight. I just want to mention that I personally can't stand them furry motherfuckers. I like a dog. A dog's your damn friend. Hey, you feed a dog one time a day, he'll follow you to hell and back. A dog's your buddy. Take a dog to the park. Say, dog, go get this stick. Dog say, all right, motherfucker. I'll go get the stick and it don't make no sense, asshole, but I'll pick it up and bring it back to you. Cause I love you. And on the way home, I'm gonna hang my head out the window and let my tongue wrap around my neck three fucking times. <laughs> Cause I love you. But a cat, them independent son bitch, they like. <laughs> Wanna pet me? Walk over here, motherfucker. <laughs> if you're real lucky, I might shit in that box. And it never fails. Every time I go to somebody's house for a party, there'd be 25 people in the living room. The dog always fucks my leg. <laughs> hey, I've been to the doctor to see if I might have a dog pussy growing inside of my skin. <laughs> and a dog will let you know only you when he's going to fuck your leg. He gives you little subtle hints like circle, circles you while he's fucking himself in the chest, you know. <laughs> you know he's going to fuck your leg. <laughs> but you can't go the people that own the dog and say, hey man, your dog's going to fuck my leg. <laughs> I went in the house the other night, people had a great day and you got to be careful them some bitches throw you in the closet. He hopped up on my leg. I said, get off my goddamn leg. He said, rah, 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 cyber, hurry up, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is unreal. And there ain't but one dog I'm afraid of. And it's not the Great Dane or the German Shepherd or the uh, Doberman Pinscher. One dog I'm really afraid of is the fucking Chihuahua. <laughs> Them some bitches is treacherous. Little bitty fuckers. Them big old eyes. Look like a rat on acid. <laughs> Always sitting on some fat lady sitting at the mall. Shaking at you. You can just hear that somebody saying, I get off this big tit, I'm gonna eat your motherfucking ass. <laughs> and because the commercials say dumb shit, the goddamn products say dumb shit. Go to the drugstore, pick up a box of Preparation H. It says on the back of the box Preparation H, use only as directed. The fuck we gonna do, put it on crackers? <laughs> My old lady goes to the drugstore, she get, gets confused between that acne medicine, proper pH and Preparation H. She ain't got no pimples on her ass, but her fucking face is shrinking. Then they got one, night talk. This is a sleeping pill. And on the back of this sleeping pill box, it says in big black letters, after taking night talk, do not operate heavy machinery. <laughs> well, no shit. <laughs> I don't know about you folks. Me, I go home four o'clock morning, put on my pajamas, take a couple of sleeping pills. I always go out in the backyard and fire up the old fucking bulldozer. <laughs> around the block a couple times, who the fuck's up, you know? Got one for women, EPT, early pregnancy test. Says on the back of this box, remember girls, early pregnancy test is for use exclusively in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> what do they think girls doing 
rat test that? On aisle eight by the canned goods? <laughs> uh, ain't no ringing the bomb this fucker. Here's the hair, look at it. Hold up by the vegetables, there's more light over there. Of course, us men, we can't laugh. Because we, we're exposed to this shit all the time because signs say dumb shit. You know signs say dumb? Go to the post office sometime. Every post office got this sign on the door that says, no dogs allowed except for C&I dogs. Who's reading that fucking sign? <laughs> fucking dog saying, come on, you blind motherfucker. We can go in here. And all of us men at one time or another bought a pack of rubbers. Next time you buy a pack of rubbers, look on the back of the box, it says, pre-tested. <laughs> Somewhere out there in the world, there's a fucker that gets to work on time. The man ain't never been late. He's there a lot of times, the hour before the factory opens, just warming up. Don't take no lunch. I work through, boss. It's okay. How you pre-test rubbers? Go in a rubber factory. There's 150 little Japanese sitting on the bench. Boy, this one will leak. Wrap it up. Ship it out. Mr. Chong, you taking too much time each rubber. Fuck you. I'm union. I go for overtime. And just for propaganda reasons, the Russians, they ordered their rubbers 15 inches long and six inches in diameter. We had a smart ass country boy working at the rubber factory. He marked all the boxes medium and shipped them back to him. <laughs> Don't you know that fucked their minds up? If you're leaving, please be careful. I read in the paper tonight, that one guy is hit by a car in this town every 15 minutes. Now, I don't know who this fucker is. <laughs> but he could be lurking out there waiting to jump in front of your fucking vehicle. You'll recognize him. He's all fucked up, man. <laughs> and whatever you do, don't be drinking and driving. That's a dumb thing. You hit a pothole and spill the fucker all over you. Like a drunk gets in a cab, says the cab driver, hey buddy, got room up front for a case of beer and a pizza? Cab driver said, sure, he said, <laughs> Two drunks riding down the road, one drunk said, we're getting closer to the town. The other drunk said, how can you tell? Said, we're hitting more fucking people. <laughs> Drunk walking down the street, drunk walking down the street, one foot on the curb, one on the street, one on the curb, one on the street. Policeman said, you drunk? He said, thank God I thought I was crippled. <laughs> blind guy, blind guy walks to the bar with a CNI dog, picks the dog up by the tail and twirls him over his head. Bar says, man, what the fuck are you doing? He said, just looking around. Next joke I'm gonna tell you is my second favorite joke in the world. And the next one after that is gonna be my most favorite. My second favorite joke in the world is this fat man gets out of the shower to YMCA. Great big old fat motherfucker. <laughs> His friend looks down and says, God damn. I, this joke fucking killed me, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> this great big fat man gets out of the shower to YMCA. His friend says, God damn, how long has it been since you've seen your dick? That guy said, long time. His friend, friend said, why don't you dye it? He said, what color is it now? <laughs> My favorite joke in the whole world Bear and the rabbit in the woods, side by side, taking a shit. Bear and the rabbit in the woods, side by side, taking a shit. Bear looks at the rabbit and said, do you have a problem with shit sticking to your fur? Rabbit said, no, not at all. Bear picked him up, wiped his ass with him. <laughs> Y'all stick around, bless your heart.